Hi, I'm Amy McGraw from Tropical Financial Credit Union, and I'm here with some very exciting news that can make your checking life easier and more affordable. We have greatly simplified our checking to give you the power to choose the best options that fit your wants and needs. Now, isn't that a refreshing thought in this day and age of big banks and big bank fees? To put it simply, we realized that the current way we were doing things, it just wasn't working. So after months of evaluations and discussions with members just like you, we determined we could do it better. And better is exactly what we've done. The result, four new checking accounts with options. And yes, free checking is still one of those options. We made this move to stand up for you, the consumer, as well as to fulfill our promise to be your financial advocate. Tropical Financial's President and CEO, Rich Halbert, is currently answering questions with members to talk about why we did what we did and how the new system can benefit you. Let's listen into what he has to say. Why did you decide to make a switch to the four new um, checking accounts and how is that going to benefit me? You know, ever since the financial crisis hit, the financial institutions around the country are trying to figure out how to respond to it. As a bank, they're for profit, you know, and they're all trying to figure out a way how to make more money for their shareholders from it. As a credit union, we're trying to figure out how to change with the circumstances to serve our members better. And what we found as we reflected back on this, our, our checking products and other services, what we found out was that they're not as relevant as they were before the financial crisis. So we had a free checking account, which free is good, but the other one we had was a relationship pricing. And it was structured in a way such that your checking account, your relationship with us, the benefits and rewards that you got were based on the balances that you brought to us, the loan balances, the savings balances. But what happened with the financial crisis was that people didn't have, don't have the balances they used to have. That people are paying down loans and they are taking money out of their savings to pay mortgage payments and things like that. And so they don't have the same balance as they used to, and so they're not getting the rewards that they used to get on our products and services. Aren't these changes the same as the banks are doing? Fees are lower at credit unions, that our savings rates are higher, and our loan rates are lower. Those are all things that benefit you, and more specifically related to checking. If you look at some specific things on checking accounts, uh, you'll see that we have some fees, some of the banks, uh, an overdraft fee. You'll find ours is lower than the banking communities typically. But something that they do that we don't do is they have this continuous overdraft fee. If you overdraft your account, they charge you once. But if you don't bring that account back into a positive balance within five days, they'll charge you again. And if you don't have it back in balance in five more days, they'll charge you again. They layer fee on top of fee on top of fee. We don't do that. And we're very transparent about our fees. And uh, you'll find it when you look at the banking community, it's hard to see the transparency sometimes in it. Let me give you another distinction. Uh, when you look at the checking accounts and there, there's a, 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 a transaction requirements or requirements to waive fees on checking accounts, uh, one of ours, uh, a direct deposit, uh, our threshold, the hurdle to qualify for that is setting up $500 a month in a direct deposit. And that's substantially lower. And we don't care if it goes into the savings account or the checking account, uh, but $500 a month is substantially lower than what other or other institutions would have. Now, under my complete checking, what happens if I fail to meet any of the qualifications? Under my complete checking, there is a $10 maintenance fee associated with the account, but there are ways to avoid that. Uh, you can avoid it by using two of four criteria. And one criteria is having a, a $500 uh, direct deposit into the account, uh, a checking account or a savings account a month. Another is a $1,000 minimum balance, uh, average day balance in the account. Uh, another is to do 10 debit card transactions uh, in a month. And we all know we use a lot more than that. Uh, and also, uh, if you pay bills online, to use uh, five bill pays online. Any two of those four criteria will be able to waive that $10 fee. Additionally, though, if you find that that isn't, you know, that you, you're you not meeting that transaction, you can always switch to a free checking account. And you can switch it any month, any time that you want to switch that. 
I hope that Rich was able to answer your questions about the new checking accounts. But if you do have additional questions, we encourage you to please visit us at any branch, give us a call, or visit us online. We're asking all of our members to evaluate your options and choose the best account that fits your wants and needs by July 1st. We'd much rather you make the decision, but if we don't hear from you by then, we will make the decision for you based on your current usage. Remember, at Tropical Financial Credit Union, you're right where you belong.